Week 53 Update. Welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Patrice to Patrice Denise. I'm on a journey to live a healthy, sustainable life, one day at a time, one step at a time. And I've been taking you guys along with me for the past 53 weeks on the medication Manjaro. Manjaro is a, medic a GLP-1 medication that helps with controlling um, type two diabetes. It helps to control uh, blood sugars. So if you're interested in more information about Manjaro, because I am not a doctor, that um, the link to their website is down below. Um, also, they have been approved for the weight loss version of Manjaro, which is ZetBound. So if you're interested in information on that as well, click on the uh, link down below so that you can get familiarized with it and then talk to your provider, because it's always good to talk to your provider about what you wanna do with your health um, and I'm not going to get on the soapbox that I was about to. I said, let me, let me stop because I was about to go into another route of um, just talking to your provider and advocating for yourself because I did not do that for a long time. And now I've seen the light and I've started to advocate for myself more and more and more. And it's done and it has proven to be the best thing that I could ever do for myself. Just investing in myself. I'm not going to get on a soapbox. Let's get into week 53 updates on my health journey. So on Thursday of last week, today is December the 6th. So on December, on November the 30th, which was my one year Manjaro anniversary. And I'll have a video coming out real soon on um, just how my last year went with Manjaro and my feelings about everything my stats on everything and so forth. So look for that video coming out soon. But um, on November 30th, I took the 7.5 milligrams of Manjaro. I had been on the five milligrams of Manjaro for the last year, basically. I did do 7.5 around the seven month mark and I did it for a couple weeks and then I, um, didn't like the feeling that I was having with the appetite suppression. It was just real uh, exaggerated. I didn't want to eat. I um, didn't, I just didn't like the taste of food. I just, I, when they say that food noise that uh, Manjaro helps to decrease um, is present, it really was present on that 7.5 back when I took it. It was like end of June of 2023, beginning of July, 2023. So here we are now, and I took that 7.5 milligrams of Manjaro. I took it, um, I, I switched from five milligrams to 7.5 because I um, had a little situation with my insurance where the savings card that you can get from Manjaro is good for a, a, maxim, a maximum amount of uh, um, money, basically, or savings. So it's good for a certain amount, and I have been using it for the last year, well, from January 1st up until uh, recently, and I used all that benefit. So my copay wasn't as much as I thought it, well, my deductible, what do you say? No, no, no. My insurance wasn't covering as much as I thought my insurance was covering. So the savings card was really kicking in and taking the amount down. Now, when that ended, that mean, meant my deductible or my copay would be um, higher. So my copay was 447, I think, for the three month supply. And being that I am kind of like sorta, I wouldn't say sorta, I am. I'm in a maintenance mode right now. I am striving to get to, and we'll talk about that in a second, my goal. And, um, but I'm able to now kind of spread out my doses and play with it a little bit. So in that, I decided to go ahead and go to the 7.5 instead of staying at the five, because if I'm going to spread it out, then I want to 
uh, still get the maximum benefit of the medication. So I'm spreading my injections out to every 10 days. So I took the first 7.5 on um, November 30th, and I'll take the next one on December the 10th. So how did my week go on being on the 7.5 milligrams? Well, I did notice that I was fatigued. So that side effect, if you saw the video up there, I explained it there, but on, I could tell that I was a little bit tired and I didn't recognize the feeling until I got to uh, the marriage conference that I went to here recently. And I could just tell like after I ate, especially, or even in the mornings, I was just a little fatigued, a little tired. So I was drinking those Celsius, Celsius um, energy drinks throughout. Just trying to give me a little pick me up um, during that time because I was in the sessions. And see, I kind of noticed it more during that time because I was in the sessions and I was like, ooh, I'm tired. But the, that, that did wear off or that did, the fatigue did uh, kind of go away here recently on, um, I could tell it was on a yesterday. Yesterday, I'm back to normal. <laughs> ready to, to dive in and do things. So, and I didn't have, even have coffee or an energy drink yesterday. So that was good. Um, so we'll continue to monitor the fatigue appetite wise. So being that I was getting prepared to go to that marriage co conference, uh, the other day, I was busy, busy, busy doing things, doing things, doing things that I didn't even notice that my well, I wouldn't say I didn't even notice, but I had to, it wasn't, I, I wasn't focused on, on the appetite suppression, I, I guess. Um, I do now, then looking back, I have not been eating as much as, um, or, or having to, a desire to eat as like I was on the five milligrams. Um, nothing major, but, and I think because I'm in a different headspace or, uh, I'm kind of prepared for the 7.5, I'm like, mm-hmm, I know you 7.5, I'm prepared for you. So when I notice that I have not been um, eating, then I'll, or if I'm not hungry in the morning, I'll make sure to grab a banana. So I got two bunches of bananas sitting here because I went to the store, so I like, I need to have things to pick, to pick up and go. So I get like some bananas, um, a protein drink. I uh, drink that when I know I'm just, okay, I'm not hungry, but I need to eat. I need some, I need some fuel for my body. So. The appetite depression is, is stronger than the five milligrams on the 7.5 milligrams, but I would say compared to last time, it's not as pronounced. It's not as pronounced as last time. Maybe because I was just shocked last time. I was like, wait, I'm not eating. I'm not, I don't want to eat. I don't, you know, but this time around, um, I'm prepared for it. So the appetite depression is greater than the five milligrams, but it, um, is not, Overbearing, I would say it's not. Uh, it, 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 I'm prepared for it. And so those are the only two side effects. Now, I've always, you know, not battled with, but had constipation even on the um, with the five milligrams, even on the two point five. Um, probably because I was already on Ozempic prior to that, and um, you know, all of that 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 delayed gastric emptying is in the um, semaglutide, which is Ozempic, as well as the terzepatide, which is um, in uh, Manjaro. But oh, that's the Part of how it works so i make sure to have miralax on the regular i uh, make sure to drink my water on the regular i try to drink two of these these are it's a 40 ounce uh, tumbler i try to make sure i get that in um just to help things along the way and if need be i take stool softeners so the constipation has not been as um I, th I think that I would uh, say is a major side effect, or I mean, yes, it is a side effect, but it has not bothered me, um, at least this week on the 7.5 milligrams. I've been able to go, <laughs> let's just say that. So getting into the stats for this week, blood sugar. So my blood sugars have been great, um, starting with Thursday, thir by th Thursday, that would have been the remnants of the five milligrams of Manjaro. So that day it was 94, and then it went on to be 75 and 73. Remember, these are my fasting blood sugars, the blood sugars that I take uh, in the morning as soon as I get up in the morning. And then when I went to the marriage conference, I did take my glucometer with me, that, uh, with me. So I was able to take it, check it. But for some reason, I don't know what happened to the video. So I just went and took a little video of it um, on the glucometer just now. 
and it was I, I remember what it was and so I wanted to share that with you it was 114 so it was 114 probably I, I would I would contribute that to that uh, Saturday night we were with the other two couples that were uh, on the marriage retreat and we my husband made he loves to cook you know my husband loves to cook if you don't know there's he that's a, that's a whole backstory to that he loves to cook but he prepared a great meal for us we had lamb chops uh baked potatoes smothered with parmesan uh, uh shrimp parmesan sauce um and then we had crab cakes and we had a little nice little salad so we had that but it was really it was kind of late it was like 9 30 10 o'clock when we were eating um and then we didn't get back to our hotel because we fellowship with them some more in their um room and we didn't get back to our room until like 12 30 1 o'clock at night so by that time we only i only got i would say about five six hours of sleep if that because we had to get up again to go to the next session that next morning so we had a great time but we didn't get a lot of sleep and i had a late uh dinner so that's why that was 114. and then the next day went back down to 97 and then it continued on at 97 the next day and then here this morning it was 87 so blood sugar still well controlled on the 7.5 dose of manjaro 7.5 milligram dose of manjaro weight wise so last week when i weighed in it was the week of thanksgiving i did go up i think it was what three pounds and i was at 165.4 this week when i got on the scale or this morning when i got on the scale i am down to 162.8 so down 2.6 pounds so i'm back to where i was before thanksgiving so i'm excited about that um so my goal y'all know my goal for the past year has been to get to 160 and or under 160 and then to kind of stay in that range uh, I, I, to me, when I keep saying now, when I'm saying goal, it's kind of like a target to me, it's a target so that I know I have something to look to work towards because of, for me, if I don't have something to work towards, then I don't know if I would be as apt to work, you know, to, to put in the work. So I need like a, almost like something dangling in front of me to uh okay i'm trying to get there i'm trying to get there trying to get there so this is kind of uh keeping me on track is is why i um that number down before when you look at previous videos i was gung-ho about this weight thing about this weight thing but now it's more of a target it's more of a target to help to keep me on track so um hopefully i'll get to under 160 by the end of this year we got what three more weeks of this year yep three more weeks so three more check-ins and then we'll see where we're at um then activity wise my same activity i did my treadmill or the cardio on my treadmill and i would say every day this week except for saturday and sunday when i went to the marriage conference so that just helps to keep me i love um the, in the mornings getting on my treadmill i get on monday through friday i get on it while in the middle of my um after I take my son to school and then waiting on my daughter to get ready for school so I can take her to school, I get on it during that time. Um, they have like an hour a difference between they have to be to school. So when I drop him off, I come back home, get on my treadmill, have my time to speak with God, pray, reflect, and um, just be one with myself. I love that time. And I think that's important just to have time for yourself any time of the day, uh, however you can fit it in. Just have time for yourself to just sit back, reflect, and be one with yourself, uh, time to talk with God and pray. So um, I listen to devotionals. I might listen to a sermon. I might um, listen to, I've started right now since the marriage conference. They um, had, uh, or, or one of the ladies, she advised of an app. So I was always looking for an app that could read the Bible to me. And if you know of another app that actually just sits down and read the Bible so I can listen to it, not like a plan, not, not like the, I know the, the Bible app has the plan. What well, do they read it? They might read it too. I'm looking at the, the Bible app right now, but this, um, this app, particular app is called street lights, street lights. And, and I'll just kind of show it to you. I don't know if you can see it, but it actually reads the Bible word for word to you. And so I've been in a, listening to that during my time on the treadmill so yes 
So this is this is this week has been great. So I had that scale victory. My non-scale victory is just I'm just feeling full. I'm feeling full, um, partly because of that marriage conference. Um, just in, in in not necessarily all about my marriage, but just about me as a person. It's helping to enlighten me to dig deeper to um, and then just to uh, want to share the joy that I have with others. So. Um, hopefully you guys will stick with me on this platform so I will be able to do that and just share the joy that I have with you guys. So yes, that's my non-scale big for this week is I'm just full. I'm excited for what's to come. I'm excited for 2024. I'm hoping to be able to sit down and just kind of look at 2024 and my vision for 2024. So stay tuned for videos like that. But how is your guys week going? How are you doing? I hope that you are doing well. Share, 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 share in the comments below how you're doing on this journey that you are going on. And y'all know, I don't um, just part be partial to any, to people who are on like Manjaro or Zimpic. Um, I am, you know, I hold those people dear and near to me. Um, but I also hold you dear and near to me, even if you're not on Manjaro or Zimpic, or Govi, Saxenda, Zepbound, or whatever the medication that you may be on, I or um, whatever you may be doing to help with your weight loss to help with your health journey, to help with your journey of life overall. I hold you near and dear to me. I mean, I pray for you guys every, every, every morning because I want you to um, be able to experience life. I want you to be successful in life. I want you to be successful in your journeys on life and, and whatever that may look like or wherever they, that may be, whatever you're striving for, I want you to be successful in it. So just know that I am definitely praying for you guys every day every 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 day every 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 day so let us know how you're doing on your journeys so we look forward to like i said the video of my one year anniversary of manjaro being on manjaro and just my thoughts on that stay tuned for weekly updates until the next time i love you and god bless